875,652 pieces struck. This mintage figure refers specifically to the coins produced in proof quality at the mint. Proof coins were not intended for the circulation, but were created as a special collector's items with highly polished dies and planchets. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to activate subscriptions and notification buttons below this video. Thanks. In terms of rarities, a 1958 proof Lincoln Sand is considered relatively common compared to other years. The mintage number is relatively high, which means there are a good number of these coins available to collectors. However, the rarity and desirability of a specific coin can also be influenced by other factors, such as its condition, grade, and any distinctive characteristics or errors. As for value, the 1958 proof Lincoln Sand is generally more affordable compared to some earlier or scarcer years. The value of 1958 proof Lincoln set in PR69 deep chemical condition with the highest grade for this coin can vary depending on the current market demand and other factors. For example, this deep chemo example fetched a pretty large sum just several days before at Stax Bowers auction. I know inspiring ultra gem that approach numismatic perfection, vivid reddish orange surfaces are as bright, fresh and smooth as the day as a coin emerged from the dice. Those dyes imparted not only razor-sharp striking detail, but strong cameo contrast between reflective fields and satiny motifs. Expertly produced and carefully preserved, and sure to impress even the most discarding numismatists. It ended up selling for $50,400 at Stax Power's auction. Thanks for watching this video, like, subscribe and comment.